Hey everybody, in this video we're going to go over 9 simple tricks that you can use to get more engagement and open on your email marketing. So if you ever struggle with having your emails being sent out but not being opened or once they're open they're not clicked, this is going to be a great video for you. We're going to talk about these 9 simple tricks that you can implement right away and grow your business with email marketing. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears. Thanks so much for watching this video. I create daily marketing videos here, so if you're looking to grow your business with digital marketing, I talk about everything from Facebook ads to pay-per-click Google ads to SEO to basically everything digital marketing. So if you want to grow your business, this is a great channel for you. Consider subscribing. So let's talk about these nine email tricks. Email is still one of the best ways to sell products to your clients and customers. And if you're not using email, then you should be. The one major reason why I love email, and I still continue to use it, and I think that it'll continue to be used pretty much forever, is that it's a medium that you actually own. So Facebook marketing is great, and Google is great, and all of these other platforms, but the problem is you don't own that medium. You don't own your list. You're just basically renting it there on these other platforms. So if you want stability in your business, email marketing is great. Let's talk about these nine ways, though, that you can use to grow your business. There's simple tricks that you can implement. So let's talk about trick number one. So, so timing is really important when you send the actual emails. There's times that are called black holes where in, in your audience specifically, you're gonna understand better by sending out and, and recording and finding out what the ideal op open rate times are. But there's specifically a few general rules of thumbs that you can use to make sure that you don't uh, um, kind of fall into the email black hole. So I found that there's actually three times that are the best times to send out emails in general um, for the clients that I serve and myself. It may be different for you, but if you haven't tested it, test out these three times. I think number one, actually, the best time is to send between 8.30 and 10 a.m. Typically, if you can catch people right when they're sitting down at work and opening their computers, or they're doing things in the morning, um, it's actually a good time to catch them at their computer where you can open it and get an open and, and engage with them. The next time is right after lunch, which is 2.30 to 3.30. And typically people will come back to the office. Again, the first thing that they're doing is sitting down and checking email or working at their computer. If you're typically trying to um, work with employees or you know, you're gonna really have to determine who your target market is so that you can um, Kind of hit them when they're available and free and that's kind of what the, the thought is behind this and then the last is between 8 p.m and midnight now typically this is when people are sitting down and watching tv so a lot of times they'll have their phone out and if you send them an email and it's relevant to what they're interested in you're gonna have a good chance to get opened then too tip number two is to personalize your email if you add their name to the email headline, you typically will get a higher open rate. I've seen figures that say it's a, a jump as high as 23% in opens, and people love to hear their own names, so it kind of makes sense. Test it out and see if it works for your email list. Number three is to be positive in the morning and negative at night. It's interesting. Um, this is just an interesting trick to test out, but typically in the morning, people like to see messages that are positive, and then in the evening, like evening news and stuff like that, the messages are actually a lot more negative and doom and gloom and things. So test it out to see um, if that works good for you, but it's a little trick that I found helps to get higher open rate. Number four is to be provocative, controversial, or relevant. So nobody opens boring emails. If you're sending out boring emails, I think it's actually harming your brand and you're gonna be deteriorating your list. So be sure to send out emails that are worth opening. So figure out what are the email subject lines that you can send out that will help to generate more engagement and don't be boring. So if you don't know what to write, just brainstorm and imagine what would an interesting person write instead of sending out more boring emails. Number five is to use specific numbers. If you send out an email that says like, if, let's say for example, I'm sending out an email that said this specific blog post generated 12,400 clicks in 10 minutes, right? That would be super interesting, right? And I'd have to have a, a claim that could back that up, but I could find something interesting. If you send out specific numbers like that, it helps to say, hey, what possibly could have done that? And generates curiosity, but specific numbers are a great way to increase curiosity and to get people to click. Number six is to be really uh, brief in your email headline. Don't send out emails that have really long headlines. People won't be able to read the whole thing. So keep it very, very short if possible. And this can be hard because it's easy to kind of be long-winded almost all the time. So 
If you can uh, keep it really brief, you're going to have a better chance of getting it open because they're going to be able to read the whole thing. And so trying to be original and relevant and brief at the same time, it's difficult, but it's trying to get a higher open rate. If you want to do better, you're going to have to come up with more creative ideas. So make your emails headlines brief. Number seven is to use the email preview second subject line. Now you'll have the preview text, and if you don't fill it in, then the headline or the, the beginning of the email will fill in. So every single email marketing service has this where you can go in and add preview text. Create the preview text so that it um, is selling the open as well. I, used, I like to use curiosity a lot of times. I will typically switch it up though. If I have a headline that's very heavy in curiosity, maybe I'll add specificity or a specific number and you know use both of these headline text to drive opens. Number eight is to test out using emojis. You can use emojis inside of headlines and I've seen um, reports that say you can get anywhere from a 10 to 24% increase in open rates if you use emojis. So it's worth testing. It really depends on your market, but try it out and see. Um, I've seen a lot of really good travel companies use emojis lately and it's actually stands out a ton in the email inbox. And so if you wanna stand out from the other um, emails that they have in there and emojis are a great way to make yourself look different at least it will take um, everybody else and draw attention to your email and then the last way is to use your picture or your email with your google profile you're able to send out an email and it'll have your picture in there this is specifically for gmail so when you send out an email it makes it look like it's coming from a person instead of just a letter. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Those nine tricks will help you to get better open rates. If you have any questions or comments or need help with anything, please comment below. Like the video if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing. I make daily marketing videos here on this channel. So if you're looking to grow your business, then you should absolutely subscribe. Have a great day everybody and I'll see you on the next video.